meteorologist Jamie Jarosik and your Storm Team 2 forecast. We do have fog in the Miami Valley this morning. It's not terribly thick, but we are seeing a drop in visibility from our normal 10 miles you'd expect on a clear day. It's down to a half a mile in Dayton. And even in Springfield, a mile and a quarter, just over a mile in Troy as well. So we'll hit those spots where visibility is a little bit lower. One of the lower spots up towards Bell Fountain as well, right there. It's down to three quarters of a mile. And there's some mist and drizzle in the air as well. So a little bit damp to start the day, feeling gray. It's uh, 56 right now officially, very cool. And the afternoon does not warm up much. We'll be in the mid to upper 60s. So maybe 10, 12 degree warm up today. And that's going to be about it. Lots of clouds even through late today. And we'll We'll still have the slight chance of an isolated shower this afternoon, but we should get back to some dry time as the day goes on. Rainfall totals from over the weekend, over five inches in Eaton. We had almost five inches in Centerville, and even at the Dayton Airport, 4.6 or 7.6. Beaver Creek was uh, over three inches. We had that in Springfield, and then a little less down towards Wilmington, about two and a half. So even those spots that saw those lower totals, Still, some significant rainfall for the weekend. You could see that rain now moving away from us on our satellite radar loop. A significant rain working through Pennsylvania, and some showers extend back through West Virginia into Kentucky. We've dried out here in terms of measurable rain, but we still do have the low clouds and drizzle early on. Temperatures are cool. We're in the 50s. Our dew point temperature, same 56 degrees, so we have that 100% relative humidity and fog. And future track keeps a few showers through the morning. Even this afternoon, some of the models trying to give us a stray shower at 5 o'clock. But you can see most of the area is dry. We just have lots of clouds, even for the commute home. And tonight looks mostly cloudy, too. Could see a little more fog form through tomorrow morning. We'll start off again with some clouds Tuesday. But they are expected tomorrow to actually break up a little more in the afternoon. So the sun peaks out. That will help temperatures get a little bit warmer. So while Gordon is moving away from us, the remnants of that system, now we're watching Florence, which is a Category 2 storm in the open Atlantic. Very quickly today is expected to strengthen into a major hurricane, Category 3, and even potentially stronger than that over the next 24 hours. Then we see the potential track for this bringing it to the Carolinas, either North or South Carolina, making landfall as a major hurricane. So this is something that we'll definitely be paying attention to throughout the week. Today, we are going to be cool with a slight shower chance up to 67. Overnight, we're going to drop to 56. Can't rule out a little fog. And then tomorrow is going to be a little bit warmer with the sun coming out. We should hit 75. Really nice tomorrow afternoon. And again, Wednesday, 78 with a mix of sun and clouds. In your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast, we will continue to warm through the end of the week. We'll end up in the mid 80s for Friday and Saturday. And Sunday will be our next decent chance for a few showers.